about you, but when I think of eating walleye, I typically think of frying it up in beer batter, which is delicious. Delicious, but our next guest knows how to cook it up with a twist. Here to show us how to make sake steamed walleye, we welcome Grand Views chef de cuisine, Paul Fitzpatrick. Hi, Paul. Oh, really? How are you nice doing? Nice to see you. Thanks yeah, for coming back. Nice to see you guys. All right, so you're going to do like a little Asian twist on a Minnesota classic fish, yeah, huh? Yeah, a little different. Yeah. So we start out with a walleye filet. Yeah. You lay it down, season both sides. Okay. A little bit of parsley. Roll it up and just stick a skewer through it. Oh, okay. Simple. Super easy. Looks so nice. then we've got a uh, bamboo steamer over here. Mm -hmm. A little bit of water in the bottom. I've got one going already. Oh, nice. So you just take a little bit of sake. Cool. This is good. And these bamboo steam steamers are not, or they're not very expensive. No. You can kind of find them anywhere. Yeah. Okay. So a little bit of sake on there. Let it steam for a few minutes. Yeah. Usually takes five to seven minutes in the steamer. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. So then we have a soba noodle salad. We have our noodles here with a little bit of uh, sesame oil. Mm hmm Julienne vegetables. You can use carrots, red peppers. I think I have a little uh, summer squash in there. Should we throw that in there? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Here we go. And? Stir it around a little bit. Okay. I'm going to use the old tongs. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. So five to seven minutes with the walleye, are you thinking like, I mean, you probably don't want to overcook it. I mean, what's no. the, what are the mistakes people make with walleye? Well, it tends to dry out a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, when it starts to flake, you can kind of see it flake around the edges there. Um, that means it's it's getting done. Okay, good. So, Paul, I imagine a guy with your kind of expertise could probably make wall walleye about 95 different ways. <laughs> yeah. How, how many different ways can you make walleye? We can make it a few different ways. <laughs> yeah. I like this one. It's uh, it's really light and summery and uh, healthy. Yeah. 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 If people aren't familiar with soba noodles, what are those? Uh, well, are buckwheat them? noodles. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. They're okay. really popular in the Eggert house, too, okay. by the way. Yeah, they're just So we season them a little them bit, a little soba. salt and pepper. You can put them right on the plate there. Okay. Here we go. So how are things at Grandview? What's new? What's going on? Very good. The golf yeah. course is open. <gasps> nice. Uh, the ice isn't quite off yet. Well, we're getting so, there. Yeah, we're getting there. Slow. It's supposed to be Slow. really warm next oh week. Oh my gosh, so take sure. a look, you guys. I mean, I know, obviously, Beautiful. it's a Minnesota institution, but that is what, it will look green. People will be sitting on a beach at some point. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, we got our noodles so, here, ready to go. Nice. And we'll just take the walleye out. Okay. And so what does the sake do? I mean, and, and I know we've tried different kinds of sake mm -hmm. on our show. I mean, what kind of different flavors do you like? Which one do you want to look for? Um, you can use any sake. I really like this sake. It's a very, very good sake. Good for drinking. Goes well with the dish. Okay. Um, and steaming it in, in it, actually, the uh, walleye soaks up the flavor of the sake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Delicious. All right. So we'll just peel this out here. Okay, take the skewer yeah. out. Oh my gosh, this Put looks right like really fancy. That. I know. Very fancy. Yeah. And then you can just Put a little green onion, and then we have horseradish ponzu. What does that mean? Ooh. Ponzu is just a uh, citrus soy sauce. Okay. And then you just add a little horseradish to it. So you can buy ponzu at like any yes. kind of yep. Asian market. You said or? ponzu, not ponzi. Right? Yes, huh. yes. Ponzu. Yes. We don't want any, none of yes. your ponzi schemes around <laughs> He's here. He's not again. running a ponzi scheme. So I know you guys are doing an all-inclusive Memorial Day getaway. Yes. And we have the details on that, so you guys can head up there because May 23rd through the 30th, deluxe, deluxe lodging, breakfast buffet, and dinner daily, unlimited nine unlimited whole golf. golf. That right. Right there. That wow. is huge. They've got the indoor water park and everything, um, and it's an all-inclusive deal. So we'll have all the details on that on our website as well, so you can get up there and spend mm. some time. Paul, can you go too heavy on the sake? Do you need to kind of, I mean, to me, no, uh, I'd you say can never no, go too right? heavy on the sake. <laughs> <laughs> Do we get to try this? Yeah, go all ahead. All right. Ready to go. He's got some. You want to grab a fork, get in there, give it a little shot. What do you guys think? Walleye? This might be like the next big thing in Japan. Yes, good. Uh-huh. Mmm. That's really good. That's great. Yeah. And the fish is done just, of course it is. Of course. The perfect temp <laughs> Thanks, <Yeah>. Captain Obvious. <laughs> But I, I do think that people have a tendency to overcook. I know when I'm, any time it gets to fish, it's like uh, your your instinct is to just cook, cook, cook. But yeah. really, you shouldn't do that. Yeah. Super light and delicious. And the Paul. sake keeps it steaming. It keeps it nice and moist. That was great. Well, thanks so much. Yeah, great job. You. We appreciate it. And uh, you can get the recipe for steamed walleye on our website. You'll also find out more about that Grandview all-inclusive Memorial Day deal that we told you about. Just go to our website, TwinCitiesLive.com, and click on food. Okay, coming up. We have up. a sake drinking contest yeah, now. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right, let's go. Oh, wait, coming that up, wasn't up. part of the segment. It's now